A generally accepted weakness of the Clean Water Act is that non-point source pollution isn't effectively regulated. So why would someone sue the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, when it enforced pollution limits on a river polluted by non-point sources? We'll get the answer to this question and see whether the EPA can set a total maximum daily load for non-point sources in Pronsolino versus Nastri. Under Section 303 of the Clean Water Act, states are required to establish water quality standards for all waters in the state. In Subsection A, states are required to identify waters where effluent limitations aren't stringent enough to implement the water quality standard applicable to the water. The term effluent limitations applies specifically to waters polluted by point sources. In subsection D, states must identify waters in the state that have insufficient pollution controls and set a total maximum daily load, or TMDL. A TMDL sets the maximum amount of a pollutant that can be discharged into a water from all sources. In 1998, the EPA required the state of California to set a TMDL for the Garcia River, even though the river was only polluted by non-point source pollution. In the same year, Betty and Guido Pronsolino filed for a permit with the California Department of Forestry to harvest timber on their property. Harvesting timber on the Pronsolino property would cause sediment runoff to enter the Garcia River as a non-point source pollutant. In order to comply with the Garcia River TMDL, the Pronsolino's permit required a 90% mitigation of sediment runoff and other restrictions that would cost the Pronsolino's over $750,000. The Pronsolino's and various farm bureaus sued Wayne Nastri, the regional administrator of the EPA. The Pronsolinos claimed that the EPA didn't have the authority to force California to set a TMDL for the Garcia River because it wasn't polluted by point sources. The district court held that the EPA had authority under the Clean Water Act to create TMDLs under Section 303. The Pronsolinos appealed.